Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this podcast on watchwords for managing developmental disabilities in developing countries. Have you ever wondered how developmental disabilities are managed in the developing world? Without doubt, managing them is a challenge for everyone involved. Various reasons for this challenge are the huge population, poverty, illiteracy, the great rural urban divide with poor facilities in the rural areas, lack of resources and infrastructure, and a host of other reasons. Demanding long-term treatment for developmental disabilities with multiple visits to healthcare facilities entail a loss of working hours, which would mean a corresponding loss of income for the family and hence remains a low priority. Let us look at India as an example of a developing country. It has two and a half million people with cerebral palsy, 70% of whom stay in the rural areas, which largely lack facilities for managing cerebral palsy. 53 and a half million people still live in extreme poverty, and there are huge areas with low literacy levels. Keeping in mind the main issues in managing developmental disabilities, I have described seven watchwords which require close attention. These are similar to the six F words described by Professor Rosenbaum for childhood disabilities, function, family, fitness, fun, friends, and future. The seven watch words which I'm describing are access, empowerment, inclusion, leadership, research, surveillance, and workforce. Now it's understood that healthcare required by a person with disability for an enhanced quality of life needs to be accessible. In reality, this is not so. Access has to be created as is now happening in India. RPSK program of the Government of India links primary health centers to district hospitals and onwards. The peripheral health worker in a rural area is trained to pick up cases and refer them to the next higher center and so on. And the chain ultimately links to the tertiary care hospitals. We'll all appreciate that SS is closely linked to awareness, education, and demand by that segment of the population. And there are many issues with this. The second watch word is empowerment. In the context of disabilities, this means that families play an active role in the total management of the challenges associated with disabilities. They are not passive spectators, but partners in the active management of the person with disability. They have a voice in all decisions relating to themselves. Nothing for us without us is a very apt slogan for this. Again, empowerment is linked to education and communication. Regional languages, which India has in plenty, will be the best vehicle for this change. Inclusion is the third watch word and is a very broad term involving a change in the societal understanding and value system surrounding disabilities. This is a huge undertaking with the aim of allowing persons with disabilities to be a part of mainstream society and creating an environment promoting their activity and participation. In the three watch words I mentioned so far, governmental role and influence is a must. 
However, it is for us to sensitize those in the echelons of power to the problems and needs of people with disabilities. The fourth watchword is leadership. In the developing world, with limited resources and conditions peculiar to that part of the world, indigenous leaders need to be developed. These leaders, while understanding disabilities, need a multidisciplinary approach. Besides, they require to be innovators and activists for the patients, given the constrained situations which exist. It is worth thinking on how such leaders can be created to take up responsibilities to bring about social change amid such backgrounds. Such leaders should also have the ability to liaise with social agencies and with governments. Research is our next watchword. A lot of indigenous research and innovation is required to meet the needs of the local population with disability. This would apply to the whole gamut of disciplines involved in managing disabilities, and research is needed for every medical, educational, and supporting endeavor. Finding cost-effective solutions, defining evidence-based best practices, and optimization of resources become important in this context. Surveillance is the cornerstone of prevention. It is well said that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Surveillance can help us to keep in check many problems before they explode and for which simple solutions can be proposed. A classic example is the problem of cerebral palsy hips, which are unstable in 35% of such patients. They can be picked up before they go on to full dislocation and treated by simpler means, saving much morbidity and cost. Keeping this in mind, the National CP Hip Surveillance Program in India has advanced to drop guidelines for hip surveillance and is next working on implementation of this program. This would be just one narrow area of work and there could be so many other areas when talking of disabilities. The last important word, watchword, is workforce. Without a knowledgeable and active workforce, it would be impossible to care for persons with disabilities. A lot of thought has to be spent on developing and training a workforce which understands interdisciplinary barriers and is able to break them. With huge populations with disability, every developing country needs to pay special attention to workforce to be able to cater to the affected populations. Development, education, and training of this workforce becomes a huge priority for all developing countries. Seven watchwords for managing disabilities in developing countries need great thought, discussion, and deliberation on each of these watchwords. These should lead to creation of a policy document and framework for action for this important issue. These seven watchwords are taken seriously. Much will be done to alleviate the burden of persons and families with disabilities. Seven watchwords are access, empowerment, inclusion, leadership, research, surveillance, and workforce. I thank you very much for your attention.